Mm, hello, today I want to show you how to make a array of time timers. So let's begin. Oh, you can choose like timers TP, T on, T off, T on air, reset timer. You can set counter, something like this. So let's. I created a, a new block main uh, in SCL language. Someone can, can call it S. Uh, soft, uh, uh, structured text language, but it's in the important STL. Okay, so we get new block, uh, data block. Let's call it R array. Okay, let's create array. Please let's minimize this mm. array. Array type of EEC. Timers, I can see it's like timers, counters, uh, better counters. Mm. Okay, so let's uh, choose normal counters, ESE from this. Mm. Okay, we have like two timers. We can change it like to 10 or 100. We can even 2D array, 3D array create with this timer, but we change normal timers. Like, I don't know, three. Okay, we have like two timers because it's starting from zero counting. So zero, one, it's like two timers. Mm. Okay, start uh, T1, start T2, the type of bool. Okay, we have this. This is variables for mm, creating this. Okay, so we have this. Now I need to like mm, compile it. Okay, we have this. Now let's array array type of zero tp. Okay, input input is like a uh, what variable we trigger this uh, timer. So it's like from array starting timer one. This 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 variable trigger uh, trigger this timer. So it start and off on off this timer. So uh, PT is preset time. So it's uh, how much this timer will working. Later we have like PT PT elapse time. So we need to create variables to see this at the type of time. And the last one is Q, type of bool. Okay, at T1, Q1, from another type of time. Okay, let's connect this at T. Okay, so we have one array. Let's create another one. You can see. Okay. Uh, press it. Wait a second. Uh, we need to add Q. Okay. So. We have this Q1. So we have like the timer pulse, generating pulse. Like I think it's one of the simplest counter. So uh, uh, timer, sorry. So I just want to show this. A bit simple. Okay, I think it's working. Let's run this. Mm -hmm. And run this too. Put this toggle on. Now you can see we have this. Let's click this. Open this tab. Open this counter. See, let's trigger this counter one. A uh, timer one. Sorry, my mistake. Now you can see the elapsed time is changing. We have a uh, state true, but after 10 seconds it will change state to like 
mm, too false. You can see something like this. So let's try another timer. After 10 seconds, this you can see elapsed time. After 10 seconds, uh, it will change state to false. So it's like uh, creating pulse 10 seconds with pulse. Thank you for watching. That was basic array of timers.